In this review, I'm showing you a keyword tool that you've probably never even heard about. It's called Wordsy, and it's one of the most undervalued keyword tools on the market. I'm going to show you exactly why that is. First of all, here's the main menu after you log in. It allows you to perform keyword searches on a very deep level, give you historical keyword trends, shows you what it takes to rank in the top 10 of natural search results. This actually uses something called WordRank, which is a very interesting feature that they've developed, which takes into account back links, anchor text, link authority, the age of the domain, and many other factors to give you a complete picture of how hard it is to rank in the top 10 for any given keyword search. It beats the heck out of KEI. Import tool, which allows you to import uh, keywords from your various keyword lists and then look at the count to see how many searches are done for those keywords. This tool is a really fascinating tool. Basically it looks at the top 10,000 keywords in the natural search result for a particular query. So for instance, grab keywords off of those websites from the natural search and compile it into one list of all sorts of different keywords. It gives you a really good brainstorming session. You can download popular keywords. So for instance, the last 1,000 most popular keywords for the week. Download your saved results. You can take projects and filter them to the next level. So after you dug a, a particular keyword phrase, you can go ahead and search by, let's say, search history, search volume, or the number of keywords. This really allows you to filter down and, and get really tight ad groups uh, if you're using it for ad groups or if you're using it for natural SEO to basically refine your search results so you can find the most search keywords and only use those. You can use an API tool, which actually allows you to grab keywords remotely. I use it from an SSH shell, so basically I can just keep grabbing keywords without having to actually log into this interface. It's a great tool. Uh, websites keyword density, this is a basic tool, I don't use it too much, but it shows you the page rank, the keyword density of, of any particular website. Uh, you could use misspelling tool and also a thesaurus, which allows you to find related keywords. Now I'm going to quickly show you each of these tools. The Wordsy Keyword Research Tool is one of the most flexible tools on the market. I'm going to show you why that is. Let's do a search for internet marketing. And I'm using the default options of exact match. And as you can see, we scroll down. We have 225 pages containing over 4,400 keywords. And we get keywords such as internet marketing, strategic internet marketing, and real estate internet marketing. Basically, this allows us to see internet marketing in that specific order. Now, if we want to search a broad match, that allows us a little bit more flexibility and allows us to see internet marketing in any order. That gives us 5,800 keywords. And any match is really a style that I don't use very much, but allows us to see the words internet or the word marketing. For example, this came back with over 10,000 keywords. We could also use the plus sign, which indicates that it's required. So for instance, let's do a search for internet and marketing using the any match. And that gives us 5,800 keywords. Again, another search option is using the caret symbol. That allows us to specify the root or stem of the word and allows it to iterate and look for all the other keywords containing a root or stem of that keyword. Now let's take a look at some of the other tools. Research historical trends. Okay, for instance, let's type in a keyword again, internet marketing for the month of August. We can see that 30 records were found. It searches by day. It gives us the count and the growth or change of search volume by day and also the estimated number of searches. WordRank is the flexible tool that is used by Wordsy to allow us a better indication of how we can rank in the natural search. This takes a, a few seconds to basically collect the data. It looks at the top websites and looks at their backlinks, the title tags, and all sorts of things to see how competitive that niche is. So for instance, internet marketing has a word rank index of 0.31, which is actually very competitive. Anything lower than one is very competitive. We have the RS ratio, which is the results to search. We have the average monthly links that these websites are acquiring, and the average URL page rank, which means with the page rank of the page. It gives us a lot of different uh, information here as well in terms of government links, EDU links, and gives us a graph and other demographics of that website. We could also download weekly or monthly top searches. Simply click this button here. 
and click the download link and that'll do allow us to download 10,000 searches or the top 5,000 searches from last month. One of my favorite tools is the dig tool. What this allows us to do is search over 10,000 websites and scrape relevant keywords based on our search query. So for instance, let's do a search for internet marketing. We simply click start dig. What this has done is go into those websites and grab the most relevant related keywords and add them to a file. We can download all of these related keywords simply by going to the download manager. But what I prefer to do is go into the project management section. With the keyword expander tool, we could take what we've dug and simply click the expand button. And this will give us a huge list of all our keywords that we can filter down. So for instance, let's limit the number of keywords so that we only want to display less than three words at a time and we click test filter settings. Now we only have words that contain one or two keywords and that's really good for making tight niche keywords. Now let's say we want to take that and want to only see words or phrases that have been searched for at least a thousand times the last the previous month. So for instance, now we have a whole list of keywords, internet marketing, marketing, SEO, e-commerce. Now let's require a certain keyword. Let's say we want, only want to look at internet marketing, the words that contain both internet marketing and that are less than three keywords. Okay, so that was a little too specific. So let's just, just say marketing. This gives us a, a list of keywords, internet marketing, marketing, email marketing, online marketing, web marketing. It shows us the count, the estimated, the KEI, and we can even click on a history or word rank or dig this to, a, to another level. This has really helped me to break down keywords into very tight niches, and I think that this keyword tool is one of the best on the market because of this specific function. Now I'm going to quickly show you a few other tools that Wordsy offers. Here's a website keyword density tool. Let's just go here and select www.loans.com and let's get the keyword density. We could also get related keywords. We click get data and it compiles the data and now we have a whole list of keywords. Let's say loans, apply, home, learn, rates keyword density. Let's go ahead and try the related keywords function. This is great for grabbing unique keywords off of a website that is related to your industry. And here we have it sorted by keywords. Apply for a credit one capital loan, apply for a credit loan, apply for credit cards. And it gives us a really good uh, keywords which we can scrape and use in our campaigns. Another function that I really enjoy is the misspelling tool. Let's go ahead and type in loans and click search. What this does is it looks at all the misspellings and also looks at the count. So for instance, how many people have searched over the past month. And we can basically use this for our campaigns or for our SEO to see which keywords are most frequently misspelled in the industry. The Wordsy thesaurus tool allows us to find related keywords. So for instance, let's type in loan and click get related. Now we have collateral, lend, loaned, borrowing, lending, lent, and this is really good to expand your keyword campaigns. Wordsy offers many unique features that many other keyword tools lack. I really recommend that you go ahead and sign up for the free trial and test it to see if it works for your campaigns.